installed Minecraft's most dangerous nuclear weapons. And today, we're going to be testing nuclear bunkers in Minecraft to see if they'll actually work and keep us safe. The winner of today's challenge is getting $1,000. So stick around until the very end to find out. Mogi, when you hear the nuclear sirens go off, that means the bomb is about to drop. Okay, we have 15 minutes to go ahead and build our first bunker. Are you ready? What if I drop one now? And then we're all dead and we're going to be contaminated and the whole world blows up and that's going to suck. And this cow is going to be giant. That sounds so cool. Yeah, it is cool. It is cool, Mogi. Okay, timer starts in yeah. three, two, oh. one. It's building. Listen, y'all, so I already got a taste about what these nukes are all about. That's why you can see I'm currently contaminated for another four minutes and 10 seconds. Let's just say it is absolutely disgusting. It is horrible what these nukes are able to pull off. It's honestly going to be the true test to see if I would be eligible to actually survive a nuclear warfare or mass nuclear warfare. I'm thinking this will be like our contaminant bunker. This is where like we can enter to get inside of the bunker, but I want to have something above the ground so I could go to the surface. You see, the one problem in the movies in every nuclear bunker is that they're always stuck underground. And the issue is you never really know what's going on on the surface, so I'm gonna change that up today. You know what? This is actually not that bad. We've got a good chunk of room down here in this bunker. Now, we have to reinforce it, obviously. We have obsidian walls following an obsidian roof. I mean, I'm gonna make sure everything is completely obsidian, but I also wanna go a little bit of an extra mile for this one. Okay, now, how easy is this gonna be, actually? I have no idea. For all of the faction players out there, what is the one deterrent that helps prevent any sort of explosion? Can you guess? Yes. Well, if you happen to have said water, you're correct. I'm doing an entire layer of water here to prevent any any blast explosion from getting into the base. Now, obviously, we're talking about nukes here, like literal nukes. Yo, this is looking pretty heat, not gonna lie. Okay, now we also have these custom ladders here. Oh, we can do a lead ladder, which if I'm not mistaken... Okay, so concrete, bricks, lead, and even books, I would not have expected that, can keep you safe during a nuclear explosion. So this is really good information to know. Yo, what has he got going on? All right, so here we are building shelters from nuclear weapons and oh my gosh we have loads of blocks here that's cool i've created a piston door here that should do this oh it doesn't oh it didn't work because i built it wrong oops there we go there it works very cool all right and i've made my floor out of concrete which apparently has a pretty high blast resistance Also, we're using some glowing glowstone, or reinforced glowstone, actually. That's what it's called. And now we can open it from the outside, too. Or I mean, the inside. Very cool. Okay, there we go. The entire outside of our base is looking good. Now, uh, door-wise, uh, is there a lead door? Metal door, bunker door. Yo. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. Okay, what about trap doors? Is there a lead trap door? Nope, nope. There's, there's only a regular trap door. Nice. Okay, so in terms of our bunker so far, this is going to be the bedroom here. Very, very simple and small bedroom. I want to focus more on the on the natural resources that I'm, that I'm going to require to stay in a place like this for a long period of time. Think about it. If we actually got hit by real nukes, you need a safety bunker that's not only going to feed you, but also keep you safe from all the toxic gases and the radiation for several years to come. And granted, even after all those years, there's a good chance you might not even make it back up to the surface because it's just too dangerous. So we have some seeds growing right here, which the only downside is that we don't have any natural sunlight. So what I'm thinking is maybe we can use the glowstone and use the glowstone as some sort of a light source while being stuck down here. Our food supply is looking really, really good. I decided to add a second layer because obviously if there are multiple survivors that end up coming here, it might be a good idea just to stock up and have more. Now, over down this side is where things are going to get important. If I can fuse together multiple things on the surface here, I can actually generate power using radiation. Now, this this right here is a radiation powered engine and whenever radiation is detected and whenever radiation is detected i'll be able to use it power certain things in my base now i need to have a spot where i can actually contain it safely just for the safety of things outside i'm adding a chain link fence around there and there we go and let's just play some random things that may look cool and just because I can, I'm adding a lot of these on top of my base for absolutely no reason. This is going to be my nuclear room, and I can set up my radiation engines in here. And now once it detects radiation, it should start fueling up. This meter right here is actually going to tell me how much radiation is, is around me, so I know what is actually safe or not. I know Mogi didn't think about this one, but I officially now have radiation-proof gear and a gas mask, which is going to come in handy. All right, our radiation generators are all set in stone down here. I think we're ready to start our first nuclear wave. Hi, Mogi. Hello, Shark. What's up, dude? Uh, yeah, it's all going good. I'm just fitting out my... Uh... 
my bunker here. With oh, beautiful, full stop. beautiful. Well, uh, Mogi, timer's up, and we are now ready for the first wave. Are you ready for this? What the? Uh, don't, don't do it yet. We have to check out the bases first. Oh my gosh, bro, this is sick. Yeah. Okay, okay. So show me around your base really quickly. Let's let's All get right, a thirty so, second snippet. Let's go. Uh, okay. So here we have a viewing glass down uh, down to the place below. We nice, open this nice, and go nice. in. All right, and what? here's my base. Okay, this looks good. This is cool. Yeah, and you really here's came my prep, bed. didn't you? Yeah, and um, I've done something very cool. If you right-click these things, you can see it's concrete, right? Yes. Hover over it. Oh, it's blast resistance. Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is good, bro. I didn't even think about that. All right, well, it's gonna be rather interesting. You, uh, Ooh, we are base, really though. playing this one off. I, I know you already came into my base, but I'll show you again. Oh my Come gosh, on down here. that door is so squeaky, Shark. I Fix know it. it is. This is my bedroom here, which I know you didn't it have. It is really Dude, dark I'm still trying to shark. sleep even, with, even when we're in a nuclear war. I'm, oh trying to, I'm trying to be comfy, buddy. Yeah, what then, is... Then, of course, Mogi, how are you going to eat? you going to eat your fingers? you going to get hungry? No, well, I have a farm. nuclear reactors. Well, there you go. That, when you need seeds, oh, don't come wow. knocking on my door, right, dude? Far. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And then back Good here... Job, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. There's more? Back here, we have my nuclear wow. reactors, which is going to detect radiation. I can actually use the radiation for power. Wow. Very interesting. Okay, now it is time to drop... The first nuke into survival. All right, Mogi, when you are yeah. ready. I'm, I'm ready when you are. I'm gonna try and do it as fast as I can. All right, three, two, one, and I shot it, teleporting. Oh and, God! Uh, okay, I felt the explosion. I felt the explosion. Um, oh. something happened. Wait, nothing. Oh my God, dude, look at this. I have no idea what happened because I can't see out. Dude, this um, is—it's everything just turned. Radiation! Oh. Uh, I can't break out, Shark. Oh, no. Dude, oh, no, I'm bad. puking. This is bad, bro. <laughs> is it? Yeah? Dude, look oh, at this. I have nausea, Shark. Wait, my base actually got opened up. No, my nuclear generators! They were exposed! Wait, what? The whole rest oh, survived of my base completely. is completely fine, but my nuclear generators actually got exposed and destroyed, which... Oh. Probably, they probably were yelling at me saying, oh yeah, well, there's radiation. Oh wait, yeah, it's wow. a, we got achievements for yay radiation. There's radiation nearby. Yeah. Oh God, okay. Well, the damage huh. wasn't that bad. And granted, that was only a mini nuke, really? guys. What? The next bomb we're going to drop is going to be a massive one. This was baby food, Mogi. It seems like both of our bases held up decently. The underground of your base is completely fine. Oh yeah, because everything is literally blocked in by the Smart. concrete and then stone. Okay, well, Mogi, in that case, we have five minutes to quickly rebuild our base and do any changes Ooh. you want, and then we drop the mega bomb. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Now knowing that there is a breach inside of my nuclear bunker, I've gone ahead and patched it up, but there are still several different areas that got messed up. Glowstone was definitely not a good idea to have as the exterior. I mean, it's pretty much glass. The base shouldn't get destroyed this time, so we're gonna go ahead and put more of our nuclear of our nuclear engines down oh yeah oh yeah that's gotta be good all right so it looks like my redstone was uh you know uh, absolutely destroyed here but other than that everything's fine just need to rewire it back up here then add back a button and then we're all good so we can place more stuff here not that we actually need them the whole bottom side of my base is completely fine now. I've added several different nuclear weapons that I'll be able to use and collect with all the radiation that comes in our way. I think I'm pretty much ready to go with the second bomb. Hello? Hello? Are you ready? I am now, Shark. Ah, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. The second nuke drops in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Jeez, um, dude. Oh, there's shark? more coming. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my goodness. How are you holding up? <laughs> I'm very dying here. Oh my good. Oh, shark. We what got just happened? One inbound. Just another one that was like five. Yeah, we need more. We need more? We need to see who's gonna be the strongest. Dude. What is. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my gosh, dude, the inside of my base. Bro, is it gone? It got so messed up. Wait, how did my nuclear lab do? Oh, oh no! Oh, there you go, you're dead. No! To conclude how this one went, I want you guys to judge down below in the comment oh section gosh. who won this. My base got breached in two areas, dude. Look at this nuclear fallout Boy. that we are experiencing right now. There's acid, rain, everything is turning gray, radiation yeah. through the roof. Dude, this is bad. How's wow. the inside? Oh my gosh, dude, your base is now green 
glowing mycelium, dude. Yeah, Ooh, it is. This is gross. The winner of this challenge is going to get $1,000. So leave your votes down below in the comments of today's me, video. Now vote for me. Vote for me. I didn't die. No, vote. You're vote. Dead. No, no, not once. No. Okay, go click right here. Let's go watch another video. Yes. Okay. Do it. Do it right now. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.